There's an inverse relationship between OnePlus's software and its reputation where updates are concerned. As clean and smooth as Oxygen OS is, the company has historically struggled to get Android updates out in a timely fashion. That's all set to change with the Nougat beta for the OnePlus 3 though, which has arrived right on time and according to promises. Hey guys, it's Chris Carlin from Android Authority here to take a closer look at what's new in Nougat on the OnePlus 3. First thing to note is that the Nougat Beta on the OnePlus 3 is a lot more like Marshmallow on the OnePlus 3T than it is like the community builds that have been floating around in recent times. The notification shade is where the action is happening. We've got mini toggles up the top there and we've also got a redesigned quick settings area. It's also now a tabbed view so you can have multiple uh, screens of icons and the screen brightness slider has moved down to the bottom. Of course, you can always edit the quick settings area if you're not happy with the order of the tiles and any changes that you make here will be reflected in the quick settings toggles at the top of the notification shade. Let's head on into the settings menu where you can see we now have a new color scheme that looks like it came straight from the pixel and just to show you we are indeed running Android 7.0 on the OnePlus 3 here is the Easter egg screen. If we long press on the screen, you'll see our customization options have changed. There's a new settings uh, option at the bottom there. Just gives you a few quick gestures as well as the ability to disable shelf. And then in our customize button, we now just have an option to change the size of the icons on the home screen. Fortunately, now you also have the DPI scaling option from stock Android, which means you can resize the display and everything that fits on it at a system level, which will get rid of some of the weird resizing bugs you would have uh, experienced with OnePlus's implementation of it on Marshmallow. Of course, we have shelf over on the left hand side in place of the Google Now screen that has been slightly redesigned. Some people will like, others will just disable it. The after all has not changed since Marshmallow on the OnePlus 3. It's the same vertical endless list with the scrubber bar on the side for quick access. If we open up the recent apps menu, you can see that the cards are a lot larger than they used to be. And we have a floating action button at the bottom for clear all, which has replaced the three options we used to have on Marshmallow. Split screen mode can be accessed from here as well, just as it can be in stock Android. And you can resize the windows as you see fit. Quick app switching is also on board on the new Garbita and will obviously be making its way to the final build, which will be out in December. In the display menu, we will now find some of the other customization options, including night mode, which looks pretty awful, as well as themes. Now, the default menu option is the one you've already seen. It's a light skin with a blue accent color, but you can also change that to dark, and then you have the option to pick your accent color. Same thing goes if you switch over to the light theme. You again get a light overall theme, but you can change the accent colors from the available palette. Unfortunately, if you're using the default option, you don't have the ability to change the accent. You'll also have access to Nougat's hamburger navigation menu. So no matter how far deep you are in uh, submenus, you'll always be able to go back to the top level of the menu. The software update page has also got a couple of options added from the community builds. And if we head on down to the very bottom here in the advanced section, you can uh, turn on and off pocket mode as well as join the user experience program if you're into that kind of thing. There's plenty of other great Nougat stuff here as well, like the app locker, so you can keep your sensitive apps locked with your fingerprint. Unfortunately, there's no launcher shortcuts, so we'll just have to wait till Android 7.1 to get those. And of course, quick reply, bundle notifications, notification priority, data saver, all that kind of fun stuff is on board as well. You may have noticed that I haven't mentioned battery life, general performance, or the touch latency issue, but because this is a beta release, it doesn't make much sense to go into too much depth on those until the official firmware is out in the next few weeks. It's a little early to say if the company has magically managed to turn around its software reputation, but if this is a sign of things to come, I'm looking forward to what comes next. As always guys, thanks so much for watching. If you've enjoyed this video, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Head on over to androidauthority.com for our full Android Nougat review. And of course, all the latest news and updates on the OnePlus 3 and OnePlus 3T. Till next time guys, keep it locked to Android Authority because we are your source for all things Android.